Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to beautiful Tasmania. We're lucky enough to be having a week's holiday down in the Apple Isle, touring up the east coast from Hobart in the south up to St Helens and then ducking across to the Tamar Valley where we'll be finishing up our holiday. We're going to be taking in some of the magnificent scenery the east coast of Tasmania has to offer and of course we'll be catching up with a lot of the wildlife and birds that the Apple Isle has on show. Stick around, it's going to be great. We're Namal and Karen, and we love to photograph and film birds and wildlife wherever we travel. We start this trip in Hobart. We were only here for one night to attend a function, but Namal was keen to spot local birds as soon as we arrived. Bumblebees might not be native to Australia and only found in Tasmania, but they are so cute and after making friends with the local bumblebees, I pretty much considered this trip a success already. For the next two nights we were staying in Boomer Bay where we could explore the Tasman Peninsula. The weather in Tasmania can be a little bit unpredictable, so we did get some rain. But eventually the clouds cleared and we enjoyed some sunshine. Probably the best coffee spot, I guess, on the Tasman Peninsula. The tessellated pavement is a natural rock formation found at Eagle Hawk Neck on the Tasman Peninsula. This natural phenomenon is quite rare and can only be found in a few places on Earth.
Eagle Hawk Neck is home to some spectacular rock formations such as the Tasman Arch, Devil's Kitchen and the Blowhole which shouldn't be missed. We're on the road again and off to St Helens with a few stops along the way. We had arrived in St Helens and were looking forward to our three night stay. We were staying in the small quiet township of Stieglitz, surrounded by bush and lots of local bird life. St Helens is the gateway to the Bay of Fires, which extends from Binalong Bay to Eddystone Point. 
The Bay of Fires was given its name in 1773 after a passing ship observed numerous fires set by Aboriginal people along the beaches. Horrible. What do you really think? <laughs> <laughs> that was horrendous. Eddystone Point was a real highlight of this trip. The water was absolutely crystal clear and a sensational blue turquoise. It was off the beaten path but it's highly recommended to go and visit if you can. And the sea life was great, we even saw a seal. We were back on the road again, heading towards the Tamar Valley for our next part of our accommodation. But on the way we stopped at rainforests and waterfalls. Halls Falls are beautiful and highly recommended.
it's still, like the, the water surface is still, then you can watch the, for the bubbles, yeah. the trail of bubbles, and then use that to work out where they are. Our trip to Tassie was nearly over and we were about to head off home, but we couldn't stop without saying goodbye to Harry's family. As we were wrapping up our goodbyes to Harry and his family, Benji the boisterous puppy came in to say goodbye as well. We'll miss a little fella, him and his big feet. If you like what you see, <laughs> give Karen a thumbs up. To the channel. Idyllic. <laughs> well, why don't you like us, Tasmania? Why? <laughs> we like you. I've told you, Tasmania doesn't like anyone. Tasmania doesn't like us. <laughs> oh. It's raining. It's ended as it began with wind. <laughs> here's to you. And here's the champagne birding. Yeah, sorry about the wind. <laughs> boom, boom. Yes. Also, the weather hasn't been great. <laughs> well, one of the joys of living in Australia is having to deal with spiders. And this morning I woke up to a little bit of a surprise in the form of a, a huntsman spider in the kitchen sink. We obviously need to get her out of the sink, so I'm going to relocate using a tourist brochure and this flimsy plastic container out of the sink, little guy. All right, so we've already had one spider relocation on this trip. So, well, I guess it won't hurt to like, just go over it again. So, <laughs> what have we got? Oh, just happened to have this <laughs> for no particular reason. So I just <laughs> and this, what's that? The city of Launceston which is somewhere in Tasmania, apparently. So with these two things, hopefully I'll be able to relocate this spider. Matt there.
Sorry. Oh, you got him? Uh, well, I've got my jug over it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably her, actually, given the size of it. She's a, okay. she's a big one. She's a big one. Yeah. Uh, oh. All right, now, bear in mind, if you've already watched the video, you'll know how much wine and beer we've consumed this evening. <laughs> All right. Now, there's a hat stand. Uh, a bed, a woman with a phone, and a man with a huntsman spider. Okay, oh, right. Fun. There she is. There she is. She's a big one. Okay. So there's no need to be afraid. No. They're perfectly harmless in a big scary spider sort of a way. So the people who spray them in the insecticide or squash them should be ashamed of themselves because there's absolutely no need to do that. Now we're going to release this beautiful creature unharmed into the great outdoors where she belongs. Go down to yep. Now where's the where's the best spot do you think? Under the lavender bush? Or hopefully somewhere where she's not because just gonna crawl straight back in. Yeah, probably away from the building. Okay. Alright. Well I wanna I'm not going to go somewhere where she's going to be safe. So how about just over here? Looks good. Can you see it? No. Nope. <laughs> there she goes. There she goes. There she goes. Uh, Absolutely excellent. textbook. <laughs> well done. Thank you. If you like this video, please post a comment. If you didn't like it, keep it to yourself. <laughs> See you next time. Thanks for watching. And that's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>